Real estate investors are always looking for opportunities and those opportunities may not always be in your backyard. Sometimes you have to invest out of state and sometimes you got to invest out of the country. I'm Kathy Fetke and welcome to On The Market's YouTube channel presented by Fundrise. Today, the Euro is on par with the dollar, which means that you can get discounts on buying European property. Now that is an opportunity. And what if besides investing in real estate in Europe, you could also get an EU passport? And what if that EU passport offered you free education for your kids? And I mean, college education, free healthcare for you and your family, and also the ability to live and work anywhere in Europe. I would say that's a pretty good opportunity. One of my business partners at Real Wealth gave me a call as soon as the EU became on par with the dollar. And he said, we've got to get to Europe and specifically we need to get to Portugal. So I said, okay, let's go. Why Portugal? Well, it's really affordable. It looks a lot like California with mountains and oceans and lakes and streams. It has really hip cities, amazing food, and it's only a six hour flight from New York. But most importantly, Portugal took a long time to recover from the Great Recession or the global financial crisis of 2008. And one way they were able to get out of that crisis was by attracting investment dollars. And they did that by offering this golden visa program. Well, so many investors were coming in from all over the world to get the EU passport and to buy real estate in Portugal because it really is so beautiful, such a great place to live and vacation. But too many people were buying residential properties and that was driving up values, making it really unaffordable for locals. So now the program's changed that you can only invest in commercial properties. So we met with attorneys, CPAs, and developers to understand the program better. And one of the companies we visited was the Sheraton, where there's been a lot of investment activity. The way that works is you basically buy a hotel room and you can use that hotel room when you want to, but when you're not using it, you can put it on the rental market and make cash flow. They expect around a 5% return. This is a short term. Okay. Uh, people could use their own investment also. Okay. And that's a good thing. That's a good and different for the foreign investors saying, okay, someone is taking care of 24 hours a day for my, my investment. Beside of that, I could use it also, and I have rented it. Okay. Yeah. Due to its prime location, the units are about $600,000 each, so that was on the higher end. But it was a really beautiful property, and there's a lot of Americans interested. The next property we went to was also a hotel, but it was a hotel chain, a lot of Hiltons. They have investments from $270,000 that meet the criteria still because they're in a redevelopment area. And who would you say are the main uh, people that you're seeing who are coming to get the, the visa and why? Top number one on our ranking from yeah. US are lovely Americans, all of them are. But yes, on our uh, top number one are our clients from uh, US. Um, they enjoy a lot Portugal, they feel safe, they love the weather. They love the way that Portuguese people, all of us, they talk in English with them. They really want to learn Portuguese, but no chance, because we suddenly start talking with them in English. And well, from all ages, um, we have uh, um, families, uh, generation from 30s till uh, retirement, 60s, 70s. So all of them enjoy a lot this beautiful and small country. Um, they like from north to south, it's unbelievable, they enjoy Lisbon and they love Porto um, and yes, we have uh, many investors from the uh, US, um, they, they like a lot. Are they coming to live here or are they coming to just vacation? We have different scenarios, they, they want to start uh, as soon as possible the golden visa process because they want clearly to have a plan B, mm -hmm. to come, to live in or for um, their kids to come to uh, study in Europe or to enjoy and have a place after a house, a property after all these six years of golden visa process in Portugal. Uh, but definitely they want to do the bridge between uh, US and, uh, and Portugal because they want to stay more and more and more here, uh, living, enjoying uh, 
for the kids, everything. And once they get the passport, they have access to healthcare or before that? They will have, uh, as soon as they have the um, resident card, they will have all the benefits as a Portuguese resident that they will become. So welcome wow. to Portugal and Europe. We just met with some developers for the Golden Visa program and I am here with David. Many of you already know David and his good friend, Adam. Uh, and I was just curious what you thought about what we just heard. I think any American who is looking for multiple upsides and um, parity with the dollar, healthcare, lifestyle, investment opportunity, and of course the opportunity to have an EU citizenship for the remainder of their lives and their children's lives and um, for small two hundred and eighty to three hundred and fifty thousand dollar investment, I think that the upside of that is unquantifiable, quite frankly. I agree. Yeah. yeah, and you're both from Ireland. Yes. Yeah. So, does that mean you have an EU passport? We're, we're okay. You're okay. We're, we're okay. Right. I don't need to do it. And what does that do for you when you compare it? You've been in the US. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? What's? Why would one? Why would one want to spend two hundred eighty thousand dollars to have the passport that you have? Well, I wouldn't give up my EU citizenship regardless. So, it confers on you and your children an entirely higher standard of living. So you still live in Ireland? Yes. And you have a business in Portugal? I do. I have so, a rental business down south. So, so yeah, tell, tell us about your business there and uh, and what it's like to be in Portugal. Okay, so uh, the south is slightly different from the, the from Lisbon, not a whole lot. Uh, I cater for a lot of uh, Irish and English and uh, German clients who come down and I'm mainly in rentals down there. Business is easy to do down here. Uh, I have an office in, in the south, I have an office in Dublin, but to, bureaucratically it's quite easy to operate down here. They're not, they, they help you, they're not, they're not trying to stifle you, so it's, it's very easy to get set up and live around here in many ways. It's slower, it takes a bit more time, but, it, but overall the, the process is, is pretty painless. And I'd add that every single person we've met, they all speak English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lisbon here that we're here right now. It's a super youthful city. The so many young, young people. Yeah, yeah. It's so Everywhere. youthful. It's so it's vibrant. It's youthful. Everyone's been super polite. Yeah. Everyone speaks English. So if you are an American um, looking at potentially moving here, it's it's language is not going to be an issue for you um, in getting through your day-to-day -day business. Mm. So to sum it up, diversification is always a good thing. So why not diversify in Europe? I'd love to hear your comments. So leave them below and I'll be sure to respond. I'm also going to be writing a blog about this for Bigger Pockets, so you can check it out there. You'll have the link below. I'm Kathy Fetke and thanks so much for joining me here on On The Markets YouTube channel presented by Fundrise.